on the map, at least for the first couple of levels. Well, we'll see where Kirmi, we'll see where all of these players end up lining out. We'll see what it is that's going to the mid lane for Benny Q as we jump into game one with the Valkyries and the Leviathans. Yeah, a lot to play, wait and see. But luckily for you and me, Trelly, it's going to be right here, right now, that we get to find out. It's Gortz Trelly. Uh, it's the Levi's, it's the Valks, and it's Atlas mid as... Around where that Vulcan is. But it actually looks like a little bit of a brawl. Finally taking up some kills. See if there's any follow-up for this. Well, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Here means low. There's the backfire, though. Once Shinto comes over, uh, suddenly that health bar goes from, oh, he'll make it up into the ult to, oh, no, he's dead. And well played by the Leviathans. First blood. Well, no, just Zap dropping Tusky, trying to get something done, potentially chasing down, killing off Wowie. Forces the beads, the dash, the heal. Gets the scepter as well. And with Wrong you over here, they might go for a little bit more. You've got no beads to work with. And the Cupid lockdown. Fields of Love is going to be helpful. Zapman pops the beads just to keep the aggression up. And then a little oh. bit of Zap. All you need is one more shot. And they're going to be able to kill that one off. But Kirmi rotates in. Make sure to trade it out one for one. Now Benny Q is here. And big stun from Wrong Yu keeps the aggression of the Valkyries at one kill per team. Yeah, Wowie being able that to stall that one out. Still. But. It was trying to predict, okay, Aquarius is going to try to juke this way because he thinks it's on him. And we'll see what we can do. Wowie, poor, poor Wowie. Beads are down. Naja comes over. And Rong Yu will not let him live to see another minute over here. Invade on the purple buff and a kill onto the Cupid. Now Panatom just trying to stay alive. The stun is helpful. Benny tosses him into a wall, though, and only needs the auto to be able to close this out. Gamma, no mana to work with. And they're trying to burn him down. Tusky goes over towards Aquarius, tries running over. Gamma still manages to stay alive. Instead, Shinto goes down. And it's a fight gone wrong for the Leviathans. Now wrong you in danger. Good knockup, good control. Aquarius holds him in place, gets the double kill. Now Zap just trying to run away. The route is going to be good. But can you separate yourself from the team far enough? Mulan closes up. Kirmi comes wow. in for the stun and a four swing for the Valkyries after losing Wowie. Yeah, you could see. I, I just looked at Hax's face cam after Aquarius upgraded Lions that teleport. Continuing to fish for whatever fights they can get. It's only 1,500 gold separating them right now, so something that's manageable. Oh, what? Interested to see where some of this aggression is going. Benetom completely whiffs on the ult, and then the knockup is good, and the turnaround from the Valkyries is just better. Unfortunately for Shinto, we catch another one that goes wide. It comes up, in this case, just a little short. The Valkyries are running this show. I, I didn't like any bit of that. Shinto, I mean, which has not been... Quite the 13 and one performance. Maybe we'll have to get to that in a second. Is this time, oh, it finally connects, but Benny Q Aegis is the ult from the Vulcan. Panatom just trying to stay alive. Look, with Aqua rotating in, that's an easy kill for the Valkyries. And once again, Trelly continuing to run down the Leviathans. Yep, putting some pressure over the right side of the map off that rotation from Aquarius. Aquarius actually wow, still wrapping around. And Gamma going to be starting this one up as Benny Q sort of plays zone duty, but here comes Aquarius already. This is going to go down for free, but here comes the Earthshaker. There's the ult all just a little too late. The damage, though, this time able to finally be applied. Hear me up on the tree. They look like they want this fight. Wrong Yu is getting burned down. Where does the Ratatoskr go? It's for the knockup. It's for the kill. And it's one in favor of the Valkyries so far. Up into the air goes Panatom. Brings Kirmi crashing back down. Shinto waiting for this one. Finally gets a kill for himself and helps set up the Leviathans to retaliate a little bit. Support. Around this objective. Kirmi's on the opposite side of the map, though. Possibly going to deal. Looks like Aquarius might be taken up. Beads is good. Now here comes that man. Yeah, and it's all about killing the raid boss that is Aquarius for Leviathans. Finally take him down. And it only costs two ults in the process. They get the beads. Uh, the teleport was down from Aquarius. And that's a minute. Got the secure as well. Shinto with the ult. Best secure that's going to be available for him in the game. Will they stick to it? Right now, they're looking for the fight. They drop the fire giant. Kirmi goes in. Massive knockup. Massive damage from the Valkyries. Takes out two of the Leviathans in the blink of an eye. Kirmi pays for it with his life. Gamma barely gets out of here. Wrong you, though, is in a bad spot. Surrounded. Taken down. Three pick up for two on the other side. Leviathans take an unfavorable trade. Yeah, the Valhalla Valkyries probably pretty happy with that one. And the very least, she's still on the fire giant. Valkyries have not dropped it. 
Shinto, low health coming back in. Haddix walks forward. Valkyries secure this one. Can they get a fight afterward? There's going to be a lot of damage thrown onto Aquarius. The last hit found by Rong Yu. And so it's one for the Fire Giant. Let's make it two as they kill off Benny Q. Three with Kirmi. And now the Pyromancer. Maybe a consolation prize, but a big sweep for the Leviathans. Yeah, Panatom still trying to chase down. Wow, he wasn't able to, to get find this him. Deathbringer. I, and that's something we, we haven't seen people selling their starters for a long time. We maybe at this point are going to have to hold that. I thought Benny Q is getting run down, and wow. there is the burst from Shinto, the lockdown that was necessary for the ult to secure it. A lot of investment from the Leviathans just to get the one kill, though. Aquarius alone gets a lot of damage out there on the Panatom with a little bit of help from the Fire Giant. For a fight, but Zapman's not going to drop it. Holding on to it. They don't have the secure just yet. Shinto. Still waiting for that ult to come back. Great Aegis, make sure they dodge out some of the damage, but Panatom does not have it. Instead, gets burned away. Zapman in trouble. Gamma gets to the back. The Artemis low. Immediate re-aggression from the Leviathans, though. Getting aggressive. Ult from Shinto. Backfire is good, but it's not enough to save Zapman. Kirmi makes it to the back. They have to be able to peel for one of their carries here. Shinto just trying to stay alive. And the Juke Shoes are just good enough. He gets out of there and keeps on going, but so does Kirmi. They lose from two Shinto in the process. No response from the Valkyries, at least not one that's going to be in time. Enhanced Fire Giant, and now aggression from the Leviathans. They see the Pyromancer, and they take it away from the Valkyries. Now Aquarius tries to get something done, but dies for his trouble. Q, Kirmi trying to get something for their team. Kirmi has to retreat. Ult going to be down. Leviathans get to group up. Enhanced Fire Giant, they're running towards mid. Pantom still does have wind fire wheels available, but a lot of the beads are coming back up. Still a pretty decent target in Kirmi without beads or blink for quite some time. 25 seconds total. Enhanced fire giant though means that first Phoenix is going to be an afterthought. Left side Phoenix and go down just as quick. Unless the Valhalla Valkyries can put up some form of defense, Benny Q is all that's left and he's going to get blinked in. Beads immediately. I mean, trying to stay alive. There's the Windfire Wheels, and it's right before the beads come up. Kirmi put into the ground, and ult, and again, just shy for Shinto. But does it matter? The damage is still there. 14 seconds left on Aqua, but with an EFG on all five in the Titan Room, the Leviathans turn this one around, and they're going to take game number one, maybe play with their food just a little bit right before they close it out. Yeah, ton of damage coming through from Shinto. Beautiful ult in from Aquarius. I imagine they're going to kill Aquarius one more they time the before DSI. this one ends. That's a triple <laughs> kill for Shinto. That's a confirmed DSI. His teammates, and especially yes. Panatom, who typically falls behind to make sure that Shinto can get up there. It was a strong early game out of, the Levi or out of the Valkyries in game number one, able to get off to a decently early lead, find that pressure. Problem with them was finding that transition into the late game. We'll see if the Valkyries can find that transition this time in game number two as we jump back into the action one more time with Gormizer and Shrelly. Now we'll see what the Valkyries have to offer for us here in game number two. They need this win here if they're going to push us to a third one and keep this set going. It's Gore, it's Trelly, and of course it is the Valkyries and the Leviathans taking each other on one more time. Benny Q back on the Poseidon Trelly, and that's the one that catches my eyes maybe the most. Just because I always think it's interesting, but that's the desk was talking about. Shinto on the Morrigan, you just want them to do Shinto things. Get away with seeing them sold ridiculous. more than we've been seeing them used. And so maybe it's worthwhile, except for, as you highlighted, the experience difference. You can already see Zapman level two. Maybe looking for some pressure. Kirmi rotates over on Durong. You immediately dash forward from the Cupid. They're going to try to get this fight. Charybdis, Zap recognizes the scenario, just gets out of there. It's no. going to be first blood for <laughs> Wowie. And the Valkyries with a great gank get pressure and duo. Yeah, Zap was not even attempting to try and help. The second he saw the Kirby was there, he was like, all right, good luck. I'm gonna Shinto is going to be the, the difference maker here, not just in terms of damage, but really just in, in terms of, of mage capabilities for the team. Wrong you. Standing in the fields of love, uses the ult. There's the Kraken as well. Panatom, immediate to the back line, tries to get the damage out there, and those autos are going to be helpful. Panatom trades out one for one with Benny Q. Gamma picked up by the rest of the Leviathans. Kirmi up on the tree, going to go in for the knock up onto Shinto. Shinto's playing as the Bologna, though. Good stun from Zap. Wondering if there later. was going to be a kill. It might still be. Look at this rotation. Wrong you. Going deep behind the tier one. Haddix Panatom going for the aggression there. Wow. It's going to be the lockdown up down from Aqua. But it is just CC after CC with the damage there to help out. But Wrong you stunned into the tower. And Kirmi making sure that it doesn't go 
all withstanding. One for one trade support for Solo as Aquarius goes down. Form in mid. Pyromancer has been started up. Haddix with a nice double knockup. Make sure to keep the Valkyries on their toes. It's going to be the full on team fight. There's the Kraken. There's Fields of Love. Fields of Love. Only going to mez a couple. Damage is solid. Kirmi up onto the tree and is able to disengage if so pleases. Panatom is the chase. No, Kirmi goes back in and pays for it with his life. The turnaround auto from Panatom gets that one, but it's one for one. Aquarius killed off. Zap credit for that one. Has the ult. They're going to go turn for the Pyromancer. Yeah, nice one for two trade for the Leviathans. Looks like the Pyromancer will go down for free in the process. Made easier to kill. Does it surprise you at all that we're waiting until these 14 minute marks? Gold Fury taken there by the Leviathans. Betty Q does kill off Wrong Hugh. Kirmi's low. There's going to be Shinto getting aggressive as the Bologna Zap Man kills off Kirmi. So far, one for one. Zap trying to do his best in terms of damage. Get it out there. Stay alive. You need Panatom's help as well. Gamma gets the credit for the kill onto the jungler for the Leviathans. Now it's just all about the turnaround. Zap can't do too much. Haddix trying to put it all on the field. Shinto is here waiting for the stun. Has the damage, but not the ability to secure it. Aquarius and Wowie versus Haddix might be the full on delayed Deicide here. If they can chase him down, Haddix might be able to get out of here. It's the Gold Fury for a massive trade favoring the Valkyries. A small yeah, gold deficit. We're going to get to start turning things around in their favor here. You would assume so. Zap, wrong you. Trying to get aggressive in mid. Do get aggressive in mid. And unfortunately for wrong you, the walls are there. The trimmers are there. The whirlpool from Poseidon is there. And they're going to be able to find a kill onto the support. And now the Valkyries can start pushing forward. Yep. Fire Giant on five, able to run it down mid. Get that here one. It looks like they notice it immediately. And immediately, <laughs> Kirby goes up into the sky. Yeah, there's only a small difference between a wraparound and potentially just getting caught out. Shinto tries to get wow. some damage out there. But the Valkyries respond in full force and shut down the mid laner. 2 2 and 4 4 the Morgan. And it's not going to stop there. Zap, Whirlpool form to get away. Kraken on the wrong U. Kills off the support for the Leviathans. The Valkyries looking to surge forward. 30. Five seconds till the FG comes up, and they have to be careful here. Panatom gets a single kill, but it is only one in return for the three the Valkyries have found, and they are not done yet. Zap is the target. Haddix, low health. They're going to turn this instead. Remember Maybe last time, Kraken confirmed this pretty easily. Someone's got to get the Benny Q. We'll have to see what they can do. Benny Q so far untouched. Wowie, half health. Wowie, taken out of the equation. Haddix surges forward. Now the rest of the team trying to get something done. Terra ult thrown out. And they're trying to close the gap. There's going to be the Kraken used early, but it kills off wrong you. And it gives Benny Q another one to the column. Five, two, and six now for the Poseidon. One for one trade so far. Panatom trying to make it a little bit more. Gets to Benny Q, but doesn't have the damage. Benny Q walks out of this one alive. Shinto, Haddix, Zapman, last three You have to imagine standing. that's exactly where the Valkyries are going to be headed here shortly, so Wrong Yu might be in some trouble. Yeah, need to find maybe a successful fight if you're the Valkyries gives you the game. A successful fight for the Leviathans might at least keep you alive in this. Wrong Yu's just gone, and you need some sort of engage. Shinto goes to the back, immediately gets rid of Benny Q, and now he's looking for a little bit more. Finds the kill onto Wowie. It's a double for the mid laner who just has to escape. Kirmi is low. Kirmi's running. Same thing can be said for Shinto versus Gamma. Zapman's looking for one. Zapman's getting killed off, and it's a double for both the mid laner it's, and the uh, jungle. Gonna be of the ridiculous Leviathan. at that point. Speaking of DPS, Gamma went for the Divine Ruin into the Spear of Death, so he's been. Trying to be the front line of this squad. Here comes Shinto, though, trying to sneak to the back line. And Haddock's going to get Benny's beats down immediately. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to get that damage, but the healing is good. Panatom misses the ultimate and is missing the autos afterwards. Shinto is low, and Aquarius just needs a little more damage. There's the hammer. There's the smack. There's three down on the Leviathans. The Valkyries surging forward with a fourth kill. Let's make it five. A clean deicide and a game win, pushing us to game number three here for the Valkyries. I believe you said so up about a three for nothing trade, and that's what it started as. But once the rest of your team dies, pretty easy to get chased down on the way to the base. I love the call there. I mean, Haddix gets the Benny Q, forces the beads down, but Shinto gets caught out by some great damage there by Gamma, immediately revealing that stealth, as well as Shinto 
wasn't able to hit the ult on Benny Q at all, just too the fast. Into him being so mobile, having large AOE abilities that can catch her out of stealth and apply that damage very quickly, makes it hard for her to utilize Transform. We'll see if the Leviathans can bounce back and take game number three, or the Valkyrie's going to find yet another win over the Leviathans this phase this year. We'll take it on over to Gormizer and Trellarelli one final time. Yeah, this will be the last one before the bye week, no matter what happens. One of these teams is going to be leaving a lot happier than the other based on how this goes. Leviathans still looking for a very comfortable, secure spot in the standings with this win. And the Valkyries looking to just make things complicated at the bottom of the standings if they win. A lot of fun that can still be had. Some acorns, I'm not too sure. But not looking to get aggressive in the solo lane. Actually, looking for the beads on the Shinto. He's going to be able to find those. Misses the dash. That's going to be the end of that one. But here it comes. Oh, part two. The squirrels ready for war. Unfortunate for them. Vinny Q. Oh, he goes one for one. First blood goes over to the Valkyries. I did not expect that. I was not watching no. uh, for Vinny Q to be coming. As these two teams make sure to tiptoe around each other. Panatom is done tiptoeing. Good knock a better stun. There's the ult from Shinto, but it is not where they need it, Benny Q. Is transformed in the Ratatosker, getting aggressive, goes for the knockup, finds it on Panatom, is waiting out the timer, but gets pulled under wow. the tower, finds the kill, but is not escaping this one. Aegis is doing as much work as it can, but Shinto oh. makes sure it goes one for one one more time. That was a really clean kill by Benny Q, timed out the Seraph's blessing perfectly. Haddix should be able to confirm that kill on the Gamma. And what, what a brawl. I mean, that was one of those situations where Panatom blinks in, misses the Typhoon, I assume. The kill is Maybe done. it could be a big play. Gold Fury started up by the Valkyries, and they're going to hold on to it. Wrong you sees this. Darmic Pillars dropped onto Zap. Fields of Love are there. Valkyries barely managed to get that one. Can they get away with it as well? Displacement from Haddix. Gamma is pulled back into this. And a tail as old as time in smite. Support for Fury. And the Valkyries are still going to be happy with that one. Yeah, that was uh, interesting. Like, I really to get aggressive. Here comes another Ratatosker gank. On the Zap Man, good pre beats. And Aegis as well, but here comes Panatom trying to help out. Yeah, this is going to be necessary. Not able to help save his carry and can't get the kill onto Kirmi either. Locked in right now are the Valkyries, and it seems to be going well. Blink for Blink trade by the junglers. Wowie oh. fighting into a bad fight this time. Shinto from downtown gets a nice shot. But up into the air, Benny Q looking for the aggression, has the knockup, but only on to Rong Yu. Instead, he's going to get pulled in, and there's people waiting here. Backfire off the mark. Vinny Q has to play carefully. Me. The obelisk gets charged over on the other side. Two in the bank when it comes down to trebuchets for the Valkyries. But can they get away with what they just tried to play? Gamma locked down and killed off, isolated in the jungle. Panatom, credit for the kill, and a massive rotation from the Leviathans. Might even be able to find a little more looking for some control. Imagine. And once again, even make it to Zap Man. Could be at this point. I'm seeing a little bit of a brawl. I don't think the old hit though. Zap is fine with trying to take this. Oh, and it's for good reason. Oh my God, I did not think that was gonna go that way. <laughs> Man, the heart bomb putting in work, locking Kier me down. Oh, I cannot imagine. Yeah, he says, a good he, treat he, says, for he says, note to self. Remember to get some some dog treats for Cerberus, and then he like backs or something. It's one of those lines. I don't I don't quite remember, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's something along those lines. Well, we'll see. Turns out I don't play Hades much. You don't play Hades much? Well, he's been a staple in the solo. Well, that's why doing? I've been trying to ignore him, because turns out, and you're you're not gonna believe this, when the SPL plays a pick a lot, everybody else everyone plays a pick a lot, and yeah. then if you play that pick that people are playing a lot, people don't like you. <laughs> they, oh. <laughs> they say mean things. <laughs> <to> <laughs> <laughs> Trelly, I'm just trying not to get flamed, man. Yeah. Like, Nobody knows awful. where it is. Nobody, There's no way to get back into it. Uh, and so it has been an official remake as called by the admins. So we're going to be restarting. Same picks, same bands, all of that fun stuff. But from the very beginning here for game number three. So if you liked it before, remember, you're going to like it. Even this is game three. It's a one, it's a one to one situation where uh, you got to make sure that you're winning this one. This is game four of three. That is true. Unfortunately, game three is lost, <laughs> so this is game four. But still, for the sake of the scoreboard, it's game three. Oh, no. Wrong you. Body blocked a little bit. Roots good. Panatom in mid gets first blood this time around. Kills off Benny Q. And I thought the danger was going to be the default. That man still level four. And here's that regank we were topping out. And Benny Q does turn into Haddix once again. Yeah, has to be 
something to stay alive here. Knockup's good. The Cthulhu fight is strong, but here is the actual Cthulhu. Haddix joins the fray and is going to chase him down. Benny Q, no mana to work with, and it's going to be a quick, clean, easy cleanup for Haddix. Kirmi, running while we have the opportunity, because I have a feeling we'll have a, uh, just a, a small amount of time. I'm going to be honest, Jelly, if you had asked me where it was going to start, red buff was not <laughs> going to be my answer. Uh, but it looks like it was pretty just standard run up and kill. Yep, the old uh, blink, the beats comes through, not going to be enough to get any Q out of that yeah, one. Does though. get confirmed there by the Valks. It's going to go over to left lane this time. Could help out Wowie later on. McKear me up into the sky, silences. Panatom, he's going to get drowned. Yeah, knockup's good, but the retaliation knockup seems a little better. Gamma pulled in, heart bomb's going to go off, give a kill over to Zapman. And they're not done yet. Wowie, forced to do Charybdis things. Immune form all the way back, honestly. Grace's blue buff seems to be a prize. The Leviathans are after over here, but Kirmi, he's rotating over as well. Uh, so far, it's a very good amount of control. Maybe not even necessary for the ult from Haddix. But who cares about that? It's a fourth kill for the Leviathans, unanswered as of yet by the Valkyries. Darmic Pillars is getting burned. Panatom over the wall is going to go for the kills. It's going to be the Fields of Love instead that try to steal it. Not going to be successful. Gold Fury goes over to the Valkyries. Gamma looks like it's going to be a very easy kill for them. That's Surprised to see the Leviathans look for the fight instead of the Fury Steal as heavily as aggressively they positioned. Shinto just fires a backfire to see what can happen. Wowie looking wow. for a solo kill. And this time around, Zapman's the one who gets zapulated, shut down into the ground, and a good kill for the Caribbean. I mean, that is not an easy play to make. Canceling out the Whirlpool Great right kill. at the time that's by Wowie. Going to give himself a little bit of extra presence in this lane. Of course, Panatom and Rong Yu over here until the purple buff, not letting that one go down. But it looks like they're trying to chase it as much as possible. Beautiful Maw for a double stun, but still stuck in the Typhoon. Yeah, Panatom is going to get aggressive, finds it, and then does not quite proc the res. And now is going to have to worry about this one, trying to get away wrong. You locked up between three. Kirmi is going to be the target. Shinto's come back over. Maybe they could do something more. Biniku transforms into the Cthulhu on the disengage. Feels like an ult just down for the Morrigan and a kill. Still going the way of Shinto and the Leviathan. Seven to one now, no one kills him five times, six times. Like you said, five v four. Haddix not even having to use the teleport, walking over the old fashioned way. Primal started up by the Leviathans. And it's going to be around them. There's the Earthshaker, but no, they leash it. Zatman gets low, Panatom is going for the kill, gets the res, takes out Wa Wowie, but loses his own hunter in the process. Shinto trying to stay alive. Maybe with a little bit of peel, no, Binikyu is looking for blood and is not able to find it. The abilities just short. Shinto, turret down. Backfire used. Kirmi is in the back looking for some sort of kill. Takes too much damage. Panatom might even want this fight because they force the jungler to fall back. A lot of trades, but it ends up only being one for one Show in terms up, of kills. Not, the, not in the cards at the moment. It is going to be a blink in on a Kirmi. Wow. He Beautiful, oh, he's my gone. God. Yeah, the lockdown, so clean from the Leviathans. But can they get out of there? Shinto forced to beats. To try and disengage. Fields of Love used. Benny Q doing his best Kirmi cosplay. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get Bumpus in. Bumpus Hammer online, tons of damage. If you're trying to follow up off the Pillars of Agony, I think Susano definitely could be a good time. Here it is. Uh, oh. Zap in a little bit of trouble, has to dash away. There's <laughs> Darvik Pillars, but an ult from Shinto lands right there. Tries to get some return damage. Kirmi is low. That's all they need. One more hit, and it's going to be Haddix who finds it, but it's still two for one. The dual lane on the Leviathans gone for now. The mid and jungle from the Valkyries, and it's Panatom who Shinto. is running through. Triple kill for him, and they're looking for a little bit more. Panatom trying to get this done. A quadra kill for the jungler on the Leviathans, and a full on. DSI, the Leviathans can... Like, you've got a lot of leeway to work with here, and they're just going to burn Aquarius. No, the ult almost good enough, but not quite the lockdown they need. Double Ratatoskar seems to be the play. Knock up, not going to be enough here. Mini Q is getting burned, and just like that into the waiting arms of Haddix. It's a clean kill, oh. and then a delete button from Shinto with the ult, and they've got the open Phoenix. They've got the numbers advantage as the Leviathans, and they might just have game number three and this set. Wowie trying to stay alive, trying to get out of here, and uses the ult to disengage further. Unfortunately, leaves Gamma behind. Haddix is going to chase it down 
down for the TSI. The rest of the team is going for the Titan. And with that kill, the Leviathans are going to take game three and end this set. Wow, what a beautiful play there. I mean, Aquarius just in the wrong place at the wrong time, gets immediately pulled back in. Shouts out to Benny Q.